All right, guys, Nick Walker, the Mutant here. We're here at Elevation Fitness. I'm gonna do some back training today, and I'm gonna show you guys how I build a wider back. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. Nice little warm up. Get the muscles loose. I want to get a little dog. I like little dogs. It's easier to maintain. That was a sore one. So I did two sets there. I'm gonna do three, one more. Maybe the third set. Just as you guys can see, probably within I'm doing it. We're getting a full stretch. None of this stopping here. We're coming all the way up, really stretching the lat as far as it can go, and coming down and squeezing. It's all lat. That's why I like this better than maybe like a pullover. I know for me in particular, I can't really. But on this movement, I'm able to get a full stretch. You know, this gives me a, more of a stretch an actual pull down wood. So I think this is very beneficial when trying to grow your lats, 100%. When I want to keep asking where Marie is. She's right there. Uh... <laughs> One of my favorite exercises for back, obviously, everyone knows, is the chest supported row. Specifically the Atlantis. I think this is good because it has different grips. Literally, you know, wide, narrow, close, reverse, whatever you want to do. Today, I'm going to go really, really wide. I'm going to emphasize the stretch. You guys will see. Pause for a second. I'm going to explode up and try and squeeze as hard as I can and just go really, really slow. And that will just really just morph the back. <clears throat> Again, it's very easy to just stack weight on this. You know, I really, you know, one of the videos I think I posted on my IG a couple weeks ago. I got like four and a quarter. I could do that, but I really want to emphasize the negative, the eccentric part as best as possible. I really get a good stretch in there and come up and just really squeeze hard. And just that alone, that was one step. I already got a good pump. You know, you're gonna realize training this fashion, you won't need to do like seven, eight exercises per body part. You know? If you really are actually working hard on the muscle that you want, I've learned I could literally do two exercises for chest, honestly. For like two to three sets, sometimes just two. And I'm good. And I've grown. So, work them fucking muscles. Four. 
Hold the stretch. Hold the stretch. He didn't hold it. Held it. He didn't hold it. There you go. See, he got harder real quick. Feel the lock. Come on. Yeah. Look at you. She watched my three tip video. <laughs> She watched my video. <laughs> she made sure to like it, comment. Uh, she, oh, no, she didn't comment. She did save them. She did like it, though. Yeah. She, she watched it. <laughs> she doesn't want to admit by commenting. No. No. <laughs> Fucking stubborn. <laughs> All right. So now, third exercise, we will do pull-ups. Assisted, because this is toward the end, so... By the way, it's just not gonna work right now. But I'm still 290, so. watching you. I'm multitasking. Good. So I'm going to go up a little bit on the resistance because I want to hit like 15 reps. I only got about 10 there. So I should probably start doing pull-ups more. <laughs> since you should, you should since watch, I said they're one of the best. Yeah, you should watch your own video. <laughs> <laughs> I got 12, that's okay. That felt a lot better than last set. I was able to contract a little better. So yeah, I should probably take my own advice and do more pull-ups. <clears throat> my biggest lesson I've learned, I guess you could say, from being growing a bigger back, is I like to think back is one of the trickiest parts to grow, for one reason only, you can't see your back. When you see your chest, you can see it move, right? Arms see it move, back you don't really, you can't see it. You have to feel it. So one thing I've learned is lessen the weight, and again, focus on contraction of that weight. Slow eccentrics, come back hard, squeeze, slow eccentric, and just keep repeating. And I keep, for me, I feel my back has responded the best in the higher rep range of, what did it say, 12 to 15-ish. Um, and ever since doing that over the years, what was once a weak body part has become one of my best body parts. So again, just, and I think rep range is very important, right? I think 
You know, I know from my chest, I can get a good pump doing like six to eight reps. Versus my back, I can't. I'm not, that's not gonna work for me. I have to go higher. So it's, it's all about finding the proper contraction, but finding the proper rep range where it allows you to get the most stimulus and the biggest pump. And for me with back, I work best in 12 to 15. So lessen the weight, contract the muscle, control the eccentric rep, squeeze at the end, and find the rep range where it allows you the most stimulus and for you to get the biggest pump. No warm up. Just went right in for it. 20 reps. That hurt. So even with my arms, I even feel um, higher reps is what gives me the best overall growth, hypertrophy, stimulus, whatever you want to call it. You know, I, I specifically like to stay um, 12 to 20 range for arms. More so 15, 20, 12 I'm okay with. Um, but I've even feel for buys and tries where I've gotten the most growth was definitely the 15, 20 rep range. And again, I train them the same way. I train any other body part, very slow, very controlled. And they just, they just fucking grow, man. I know people will say, uh, are you genetics? All the juice in the world. Uh, no, listen, listen, you can take whatever the fuck you want. You can do whatever the fuck you want, but if you're not training right, you're not eating right, you're not recovering right, ain't nothing gonna help you, I promise you that. Now let's say we'll do a mile, mile rep set, which I'm gonna try and match the reps I got from last set. So I just did 15, last set I did 20, so five more reps. <laughs> Also, what's very important is exercise selection. And I think I said this in one of the other videos, but don't come in here picking exercises and you're, you know, you're doing all these set tricks to slow everything, pretty like, this is not working, I don't feel it. You're probably just doing the wrong exercise too. Find the exercises that you connect with best already and then do those methods. And I guarantee you, you will transform. You know how I know I got big doing this style? I'm gonna tell you how I know. Fucking Maria sees me every goddamn day. Every goddamn day. She came up to me one day last week and said, you look huge. She'll never tell me I look huge. So that's a fucking, that's how I know she's working. So on the drop, I did five solo controlled. And then I did five, you know, pump, just to hit the different fibers of the muscle. Now, doing that also necessarily isn't a problem. I wouldn't do that like the whole workout. But if you are doing like a drop or something, on that drop, you know, you just wanna pump, pump as much blood in the muscle as possible. 
I don't see a problem with that, but just don't make it your primarily workout. Typically for arms, now that I'm doing like a more push pull leg type thing, um, I only do, you know, two exercises for tries at the end of the uh, push day. I had to think of them more. And then two exercises of biceps at the pull day. So on typically set range, it'll be about four to six. I don't, my arms are already dominant, so I don't, I, I mean, six sets is probably even still too much for me, but I like to train arms. If you, if you enjoy something, fucking keep doing it. But you also have to know when to pull back a little bit. So, you know, I used to do about three exercises, you know, three to four sets each. Now we're only doing two, two exercises, two to three sets each. Maybe add like a drop set in there if, you know, if I feel it's needed or just do, have fun. But other than that, you know, if you create good stimulus, in general, you don't need that much, but I, I certainly don't need that much. Um, so yeah, that's basically my arm training for right now. But if you want to grow your arms, the way I did when I started, I do advise, may, may, I would advise doing like an exercise for triceps, maybe after like a chest day, an exercise for biceps after like your back day, and then have a whole total arm day. That did help me, but don't overdo the volume. You know, train it in this type of fashion, obviously, but you're just gonna have your own arm day. And that's, I feel that'll work best for everyone. That is today's pool day. Um, overall, that was good, very effective. Um, I feel like I got all I need out of today's session. Um, and like I said, the style, it's, it's still different for me. I like it, it's good. Um, I'm, like I said, I was, I think I got in the mindset during my prep last year of more and more and more. So. You know, volume was just, I just did what would Jared Feathers call wasted sets. Junk, junk volume, whatever. Which now I'm really paying attention to just making the sets count. And I think it has shown in my physique thus far. Um, I think I've made quite improvements in a short amount of time. And now that we are, in fact, well, when this, this will be posted like 15, or well, 15 weeks out, right? Mm -hmm. So when this gets posted, I'm about 15 weeks out. But just so everyone knows, we have up cardio a little more, dropped food in terms of fats. We did drop the carbs just a little bit, not crazy, but we did drop all the fats pretty much out of my diet, except for like beef meals and um, a cup, a little almond butter after, uh, before bed. Um, so my weight I have noticed has already dropped a couple of pounds since. Um, so we are trending in the right direction. Energy's still good, energy's still high. So, um, you know, we got plenty of time, but I do feel like this is going to be my year. Um, I'm, I'm literally knocking, knocking on the door. And even though I traveled more than I ever thought in this off season, I have also um, progressed a lot more than I thought. So I feel, I feel very confident going this year. Everything is very smooth, even you know outside stressors, outside life, whatever you want to call it. Is everything's just kind of in the groove I need it to be in um, to be in a great spot for this prep. So. I'm very excited. And again, make sure you guys like, subscribe. We'll see you for the next one.